Welcome back to Jade Empire. Last time we did some of the main quests, we stalked with you, we the Brave, and we so resolved some uh, marital problems. And now we're gonna try and do the Zhang the Ox Carrier side quest. So, um, I think I have to talk to Dong Ping again. Zhang won't listen to me. If I can't get him home, I'll be ruined. Is that the only thing you can care about or you can think about? Anyway, let's talk to Jean. Go away. Jean not want to speak to you. I come in peace. Why are you so upset? Jean kill ox. Jean too strong. Too rough with ox. Jean not want to hurt ox. Jean only playing. Now Zhang cries for Ox. He is a kind-hearted ogre. I believe you. I'm sure you didn't do it on purpose. Ox like to play with Zhang. Ox like it when Zhang throw her in the air and catch her. Zhang missed. Zhang dropped Ox on her head. Ox is dead. You were only playing with the Ox. Ox was Zhang's friend. Zhang killed a friend, and now Zhang is bad. Aww. I feel for the ogre. Mm. That's not the right, correct path to take. It's either one of these two. That's guilt tripping. That's not the right way to go I think so maybe you can get another ox master already have another ox poor ox Zhang killed ox's sister now ox won't like Zhang anymore what do you know about that hmm we have a thing about uh, chance. Team Bob. Um, conversation check. Um, I'm not gonna go for the intimidation. That seems bad. It's either intuition or charm that I have to go for. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. You're not bad. You're strong. Dong needs your help. Yes! Master needs my muscle! Success! How else will he get second ox in bath? You have been nice to Zhang. Zhang likes yes. you. Zhang hope you have good day. I hope Zhang has Thank good day. Thank you so much. I was at my wit's end. You've done me a great service today. Come Zhang. Let's go home. Exactly. Go home with your Zhang master. Coming. Zhang go home now. That was easier Thank than you expected. Thank rid of that thing. Business is bad enough without that ogre scaring away my customers. Here's a hey. little something to thank you. It's not much, but it's about all I can afford these days. Oh, we do gain it. Okay. Um, let's continue exploring the tea house you are Chai Jin and you are kindly Yushan these are named characters um, I did um, research what happened to well about the mar marriage uh, quest with Eileen I cannot be her husband, but I've got some other interested parties like Yauru. And if I'm not mistaken, he was the highest experience giver, so let's talk to him. Do you mind? I'm in no mood for company given my present state of despondency. What? Who are you? My name is Yaru, though some of the locals disparagingly refer to me as Yaru the Sailor. 
You see, I am predisposed to seasickness. Ergo, I despise the water. Then why do they call you the sailor? Yet I suffer their verbal slings and arrows with nary a complaint. It is just one more misfortune to pile atop the great heap that buries me in misery. What misery? What's wrong? I am at the stage of my life in which I long for companionship. A wife with intellect and refinement comparable, but just slightly inferior to my own. Oh. Unfortunately, this town presents scant opportunity for a suitable match. Seamstresses, barmaids, peasants. I may as well marry the harlots selling themselves in the street. Hey. Maybe your standards are too high. Or perhaps everyone else's standards are far too low. I shall not allow myself to be saddled with a marriage of convenience. Not when I deserve so much more. Okay, he is a pompous ass. Ai Ling is looking for a husband. Ai Ling? Surely you jest. The infamy of that woman's gang leads me to believe she is barely above a beast. Though I hear she is fair to gaze upon. Hmm... She's smart and beautiful, a perfect match for you. A match for me? I would be offended were the suggestion not so ludicrous as to be completely dismissible. Hai Ling is no match for me. Okay, my first failure. Well, I have a high charm. Team Bob, skill. I bet you could transform her into a true lady. I admit I am quite capable of bringing culture even to one such as her. And she is a stunning physical specimen. Perhaps you are right. It could be a worthy challenge to try and affect the grand metamorphosis on this ugly caterpillar. My reward may well be a gorgeous butterfly. This is not going to go well. Very well. I consent to a meeting with Ai Ling herself. Take me to her, that we may move events to their ultimate conclusion. Okay, let's go to Ai Ling, I guess. Greetings, fair maiden. I see accounts of your physical beauty are Don't quite accurate. I only hope the less flattering traits attributed to you are less so. You sure like to use big words, don't you? You're trying to make me feel stupid or something? Oh. Um. It just shows how smart he is, Eileen. Precisely. My copious vocabulary and cunning linguistics are ample evidence of my superior intellect. Or, maybe you use big words to compensate for a little something lacking below the belt. Burn! Are you under the erroneous belief that impugning my manhood will somehow entice me into a proposal? Um, what shall we... Well, I, I know that intuition is not... High enough. Um. Let's try the intuition again. How many other women have been willing to challenge you, Yaru? Yes, she has a lot to learn, but culture, class, and training will bring even this ornery dog to the heel. Bring me to a heel? How about I bury the heel of my boot into that soft skull of your swollen head, you arrogant pig? You wouldn't. I don't... I mean... Uh... Crap. Huh. That didn't go well, did it? Look, if you want to collect that silver I promised you, you're going to have to come up with someone better than that. I should have used my charm instead of my intuition. It's not high enough. Damn it. I failed it. Crap. Ah, really? Not responding? Um, matchmaker. Well, I've forgotten actually who the matches are. I'm only nine minutes in, I could restart the episode, but I don't think I will. Doesn't... People here? 
cook te dishwasher wong. Oh yeah. Because everybody needs a dishwasher. Who food is sweet? Let's uh see if we can re do that. Uh, where's the stairs? Over there. But I'm fairly certain I failed Yaoru's path. You see, he's no longer there. Maybe I should go and talk to Eileen again to see who's ever available. But first, let's talk to her. Old Mother Kwan. Hello, young one. My name is Kwan, but everyone calls me Old Mother Kwan. I'd like you to call me that too, okay? No problem. Welcome to my tea house. Oh, that's not right. No, not anymore. Sorry about the confusion, dearie. What I meant to say was, welcome to Master Dutong's tea house. You used to own this tea house? Yes, yes, I owned the tea house for many, many years. At least I thought I did. But then Master Dutong came to town with that imperial wit. Oh my, wasn't that a shock? Turns out his family owns this land. They have for hundreds of years. The land is his along with everything on it, so now he owns my tea house too. Suspicious. He was nice enough to let me stay on here as a helper. I steep the tea. Yan Wan takes the orders, and Master Dutong, uh, well, he mostly just drinks his wine. Did you check the writ to make sure it was real? Now why would I do such a thing? I can't even imagine anyone being so horrible they'd forge an imperial writ. No, I'm sure the land belongs to Master Dutong. Don't be so sure of anything. And you didn't know he owned the land when you built the place? No one knew. This was just an empty patch of rock for hundreds of years. Who would have thought the Empire had deeded it to anyone? But Master Dutong came along with his writ. Interesting. I'm going to speak to Dutong about this. That is very nice of you, my child, but what could you do? I would love to have my tea house back, but it belongs to Master Dutong now. You can't argue with an imperial writ. All this talk is just the rambling of an old woman. Put it out of your head and enjoy yourself. It may not be mine anymore, but this is still a fine tea house. Okay, I believe you about the fine being a fine tea house, but still. Um, old mother Quan used to own tea house in Tian's Landing until three sheets of Tong showed up with an imperial writ proclaiming that the tea house was his. The Tong story sounds suspicious and it's probably worth investigating. It is. Speak to Tong or the tea house theft to learn more about Du Tong's imperial writ. Hello, greetings, welcome. My name is Steeper Yan Ru, and I'll be. No, that's not right. Not right at all. Idiot. I'm Barkeep Yanru now, not Steeper Yanru. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I still can't get the hang of this new position. Sometimes I wish old mother Quan still owned the tea house so things could go back to the way they were. That's why I'm here. I want to talk about the tongue and his imperial writ. That imperial writ has caused us no amount of grief. Mother Quan lost her tea house. Waitress Yan Wan is busier than ever, and I spend all day giving out foolish advice. Oh, really? Did anyone ever see the actual writ? Mother Quan saw it, though her eyes aren't too good. Most of us didn't bother to give it a look since hardly anyone in the town can read anyway. Oh, that's. Um. A problem if no one can read? I think the writ was a forgery. What? You mean it, it wasn't real? That means Mother Quan should still own the tea house. Problem is, Dutong's already shown everyone the writ and now he's got it locked away. If you're right, he'd never bring it out again. There's no way to prove he cheated Mother Quan. Maybe I can make Dutong confess. That might work. 
It would probably help if you get him drunk first. That's something I can help you with. Dutong's always having me send over wine. Usually I mix it with water so he doesn't get too drunk too fast, but I could start sending it to him unmixed. Yeah, do that. Get him drunk and I'll get a confession out of him. It won't be quite that easy. I've watched Dutong for quite a while and when he's drinking, he usually goes through three stages of drunkenness. Oh, really? Dutong gets very friendly when he starts to drink. You might get a confession out of him then, but I doubt it. He's not really all that drunk at that stage. Usually after about seven bowls, he slips into depression and sorrow. He complains about how his life is worthless and what a bad and sinful man he is. Okay. Not a pretty sight. That's the second stage. By the ninth glass, he starts to get paranoid. You can't really talk to him then. Usually around that time, I try to slip a restorative potion into his glass to sober him up. Got it. You can make him sober again? The restorative tastes pretty foul, but it does the job. Works instantly and makes a man sober as an imperial judge. Dutong's guard keeps a vial handy at all times, just in case. Mm-hmm. Got it. The guard gave me a few vials so I could slip them into Dutong's wine when he starts to get paranoid. Keeps him from getting out of hand. Okay. Um... I'll be back in a bit. Good, good. Go speak to Dutong. If he's not drunk enough or if he's too drunk, come back and see me and I'll mix him up another drink. We'll get him to admit he's a cheat and a sneak. Then old mother Quan will be back in charge and I won't ever have to give out another bit of bad advice. Okay, um... That's a guard. Okay, that's the tongue. Got it. We already know where to go. Those are patrons. Let's see if somebody's up there that I can speak to. Rue. Young one. Those sailors are the worst. They're rude and crude and they don't keep their hands to themselves. Rue? I may be drunk, but that doesn't mean I am a drunk. Because I'm not. Well, just a little bit. But I'm brave, too. I'm going to go close the great dam and save the town. You go and do that. Watch out for the Lotus I'll Assassins. I'll be a hero. Well, that'll show them. Well, that'll show them all. I just need another drink to get my courage up. Wine! Someone bring me more wine! I will not do that for You've you. been saying that for three days, Rue. Minister Shang's already looking for other people to close the dam, and you'll look a fool after all your boasts. I doubt that man could open a door, never mind a dam. Exactly, Dawnstar. Okay, I don't think... I can talk to anybody else here. Nope. Oh. I cannot, um... You know, oops, jump over this. That yielded absolutely nothing. Okay, come on, let's let's get him drunk. You should speak to Dutong. See if you can get him to confess to cheating old mother Quan out of this tea house. Um, let's send Dutong some drinks. No problem. We have two sorts of wine here, peasant's wine and imperial seasoned spirits. The peasant's wine is pretty weak, but that's usually what Tatong drinks. Okay. The imperial seasoned spirits are a lot stronger. One bowl of that is worth three bowls of peasant's wine. And if Dutong gets too drunk, I have the restorative to sober him up. Um... Okay, so... The imperial seasoned spirit is worth three of those. So... After seven bowls, he gets um, talkative, so let's give him the Imperial Season Spirits. One drink for Master Tutong coming up. Anything else I can do for you? No, I'll be back in a bit. Good, good. Go speak to Tutong. If he's not drunk enough or if he's too drunk, come back and see me and I'll mix him up another drink. So now he's got three. We'll get him three. to admit he's a cheat and a sneak. Then old mother Quan will be back. Yeah, yeah. So now his drunkenness level is three. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Master Dutong's tea house. 
What can I do for you, my friend? Hmm. Let's talk about that writ you showed, Mother Kwan. The writ? <laughs> Why waste time on such a dry and boring subject, my friend? Can't you see the drink is flowing? Look at how busy my tea house is. Isn't it glorious? It is. Okay. Put the writ out of your mind and join the party. Mingle. Enjoy yourself. Everybody should have a good time at Master Du Tong's tea house. Okay. Give him more to drink. To Dutong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's recap the stages of drunkenness. Dutong gets very friendly when he starts to drink. You might get a confession out of him then, but I doubt it. He's not really all that drunk. Uh, okay, not that. drunk. Usually after about seven bowls, seven he bowls. slips into depression and sorrow. By the okay. Yeah. The Let's send him some drinks. The some more seasoned spirits. And I'll be back. We'll get Let's see how drunk he is now. Greetings and salutations. The writ? The writ? Put the... Ah. You should speak to So he's got a, he's in six. Um nope. The okay, some peasants one. One drink for Master Tutong coming up. Anything else I can do for you? I'll be back in a bit. What do you want? You come to mock me? Come to laugh at the tragedy that is the life of three sheets Tutong? So now he's drunk. About that writ you showed Mother Kwan. No, not the writ. Let's not talk about that. It's my secret shame. Just the thought of that writ brings tears to my eyes. It tears at my poor, miserable soul. Why? Could you tell me? Tell me about writ. You can trust me. No, please. Just Damn leave it. me alone. I'm a bad man. A bad man. Bad man, I don't deserve friends. Just, just go away. I'm not high enough level in the charm. Wait. Maybe you'll feel better if you tell me about it. Yeah. Yes. That's what I need to do. Confess my sins. Then I'll feel better. Oh, I'm a despicable person. A bad, bad man. The writ? It's a fake. A forgery. I made it all up! We got Plus, him. What are you saying? I, I better sober you up. You stay the hell away. God, oh, God. Oh, I hate that restorative potion. Oh, that stuff tastes like vomit baked in a glaze of goat hair and garnished with a sprinkling of horse dung. You! And now I have the strangest memory, as if I... Oh no. Did I... Did I say anything to you, stranger? Anything about... Oh, I don't know, uh, an imperial writ? Yep. You told me it was a fake. What? No. I never said any such thing. I heard what you said, Dutong. I knew you cheated Mother Quan out of this place, and now we have proof. You can't get out of this now. There we go. Ah, I see what you're after. Oh yes, Three Sheets Dutong was not born yesterday, or the day before that. Indeed, we are speaking the language of commerce. Language of I commerce? I will give you a great deal of silver to keep this little secret from getting out. Lots of silver for both of you, if you keep quiet about this. I... I don't know, Dutong. I could really use the silver, but Mother Quan is such a nice old lady, I... I'm just not sure what to do. I know what to do. You dis disgust me, Jutong. We won't sell Mother Kwan out like this. Right, of course. What was I thinking? Old Mother Kwan's a good woman. She deserves to have her tea house back. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh boss, people aren't gonna like us when they find out what you did. Maybe we should get out of here. Follow his advice. That's the smartest thing you've said since I hired you. Let's go. Well done. It'll be nice to have old mother back in charge again. You should tell Mother Quan she got her tea house back. Now things can go back to the way they were. Indeed. Woo. 
I knew you would make the right choice. We share the same master and he taught us both well. Of course. This is not the way to take over the establishment. He could have, I don't know, paid her. I mean, look at her. She is old. She's on the brink of death. He could have offered some amount of money so that she could retire and live out the rest of her life. Old Mother Quan, the Imperial Writ was a forgery. Hello again, dearie. I hope you're having a nice time here in my... I mean, in Master Dutong's tea house. Dutong's Writ was a forgery. Uh, a forgery? Are you certain? Yep, he confessed. Dutong confessed the tea house is yours again. No wonder he left here so fast. Cheating an old woman out of her hard-earned living. The very nerve. People, listen to me. Master Dutong has left. For good. And thanks to this brave young man here, the tea house is mine again. Time to celebrate. Hooray for Mother Quan. Her tea house is back in business. Hooray. You've given me back the only thing I ever cared about. And you've done a service for this town, too. I'm going to turn this place back into a respectable quality tea house. It was nothing. I was glad to help. I don't have much. The only reward I can offer is my humble thanks. That and a promise that you will always be welcome here at Old Mother Quan's. That's all I need. Yes. Some more open palm um, points. And I think... Let's take a look at the map where I'm in. There's nothing here. Okay, we can go out. That was an easy quest. Oh, stop not responding. Okay, um, yeah, I read that book stand. Um, let's take another look at the map. So I have Merchant Chung, Minister Sheng, that's my campsite, the tea house, I've got nothing to do there. The old Masters, Scholar Six Heaven, Darting Links, Bear Spear, Rose Barge, Darting Links. The merchant area. Let's go do the old master's quest. You know, you've got a hole in here. What happened? It doesn't matter. We have got to go to the old masters. We're gonna probably learn a new style. Which is nice. And it's an open palm style, so... Actually, let's take a look at my character sheet. I'm almost level 6. And I need more... I think I'm gonna go for spirit and mind in, at the next level. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Still don't know how the hell this is calculated. I mean, I've got 15 points in body and uh, 13 points in mind. And here I've got 20 points in intimidation. I don't know how it's calculated. Um, I've got a lot of open palm for the moment. Okay, old masters, where the hell are you? And before I do anything else, I know I'll probably regret it, but I will save it at save 33. Yes. Okay. Your move, old goat. Nope, Mr. Zvo. It's a pleasure to talk to another warrior. My game of Yi with Jian can wait a moment. What can I do for you? Um, I seek your training, Mr. Mr. Zvo. Wait, no. Explain to me the principles of the Stone Immortal style. 
Stone Immortal allows you to control the Earth itself. It is not easy to master. To understand the Earth, you must be aware of all things around you and understand that they are all connected in one way or another. Okay. That is why Stone Immortal is only taught to those who follow the way of the open palm. Our sense of harmony aids us in persuading the Earth to serve as our ally. So Earth magic? I'll leave you to your game. When you... Yeah, yeah. What, what are your principles? What do you want? Um, could I ask you some questions about your teachings? You mentioned teaching harmonic combinations to Mistress Vo. Okay. How do I start one of these harmonic combinations? Okay, magic or support. Okay, I think I've done one already in one of the episodes. Once begun, how do I finish a combination? I must be quick. Okay, got it. Yeah, but the strongest attack has a charge-up time. Uh, is there any point to performing a harmonic combination? Yeah, of course there's a point. Okay. Sata Tawa ear, Wonawa for Kuno Sukut near Awafawa ear so talk. Okay. Tell me more about Tempest. Ipaner Nuko Iwa ear, Nikasanar ear, Iruru Ninuasa ear can. Okay, so wind style. Niato Wonapadi, Irovir, Kuni Ugnawata ear. Okay. I'll leave you to your game. So, I, I have a, ch a choice between Earth Magic and Wind Magic. Well, I am the Open Palm way, way of the Open Palm. I think I'm going to go with Mistress Vo. Always a pleasure to... Yeah, yeah. I seek your training, Mistress Vo. You have some understanding of the way of the open palm, but Stone Immortal is not easily taught. Return to me when you feel you understand the way of the open palm. Then you will Excuse be ready. me? When you feel I cannot do it? Okay, fine. Fine. I'll go to Scholar Six Heavens, over here somewhere. Really, they, I have no full understanding of the open palm. Uh, yeah, open palm. These gates are sealed shut and will never open. What? That's where... Okay, let's go... Via the pier, then. Courtesans. Merchant Zhang. Shipping. These docks remind me of the fishermen in two rivers. A shame we will never see them again. Yeah, exactly. A shame. Starting links. Why are the these gates sealed? That that's absolutely bullshit. It's 
Scholar Six Heavens. Finally, someone stronger than these cowed peasants. This town disgusts me. I am Scholar Six Heavens, and I need someone who possesses great strength and skill. That would be me. What I do not need, however, is someone who walks the way of the open palm. I can read in every movement that you would protect the weak and coddle the poor. Now we're close to this guy. Um. Well, someone must protect the weak. What's so wrong about that? They must protect themselves. You see? Your every action at each word tells me that you are not the person I need. If I can see by your actions that you understand the way of the closed fist, I promise to make it worth your while. Otherwise, I will not waste any more time with you. What quest is that? The Zither of Discord. You met Scholar Six Heavens in Tien's Landing and he made clear that he needs assistance. He does not, however, want your aid as he felt you were too much a follower of the Way of the Open Palm when you first met him. I don't want the closed fist. If you wish to aid Scholar Six Heavens, it seems you will have to prove yourself a follower of the Way of the Closed Fist and then talk to him again in Jens Lenin. Okay, you can go. Valgoroth, I am not a follower of the Way of the Closed Fist. I am a follower of the Way of the Open Palm. If that is a problem to you, you can bugger off. Okay, I guess it's time to meet Minister Shang and all those up top. And you, how dare you? Yeah. I am well versed in the art of the or the way of the open palm. Why is that on fire? What happened here? What's going to happen? Pretty. Yeah, pretty. Who up away are some work for your work? Oxiers are fit, cup cup was arcier. Yeah, don't steal. Put that sword back, lout. Surely there was never a minister as unlucky as Minister Sheng to suffer such insolence. Okay, so he did put it back. Connie on you Tashika wheel for your South Arab pony. I think there are more pressing matters at hand than just a thief for the moment. And still poor Minister Sheng suffers the insults of tradesmen who know nothing of justice. Where would I put the lout? My jail has been burned to the ground along with my office, I might add. I have no place to put thieves, so stop questioning your betters. So that's Minister Shane. Okay. Um Take a look at the map. So Mr. Shane is there and Merchant Chung has a quest for us. So let's quickly talk to the merchant. Konio Nuyu, Koki Yer Tatasina. Soon Puno on Yusir, Taikunpa, even an appear ni wonum. What do you mean you have got nothing to sell to me? Um, what have they taken? Wono weir, Efu weir, Uxum Norfoni or Seer Sisi to Sata Afso weir, Uknapir, Ani year, Ninpir. And they're hardly worth the effort. Okay, got it. Oh, sayer o yukap tantarundano wo tarwayer shafir owo. Okay. One of the sailors, so a clay figurine. Wo kauso yer noka wo wo tarwayer shaxir o filopifu. Is there something I could do to help? Wo no weir efu weir uksu norkfoni o siyer sisitu. Hey, I'm in town. I can help. You know what? I'll go talk to Tong for you. 
wo kwaer ano uyu kubke thir so so waweer wakwakir to wir wo southeast corner of town okay near the store houses past beggar spear wo kauso yer no ka wo wo tarawei o shaxiro fino pifu okay got it so that's a new quest um Peasant, peasant, sailor. Why is this closed off? Oh yeah, probably because there's no water. That's why it burned down. Because the dam is closed off. Or whatever. The thing that happened to the dam, there's no water anywhere. So that's why the prison and the office burned down. But first, let's me, let me read that book stand. Oh, that's a long text. Um, oh, being a collection of the in wait, the airing of grievances, being a collection of the indignities suffered by Mr. Shang at the hands of the backward shanty town of Dens Landing, his head has been soiled. A parchment was stolen from him before a speech at a community gathering. His cat was viciously threatened. A chair at his table was placed backward. His finger was slammed in the door not once but thrice, three times. An egg was thrown at him by an unknown assailant. His cart was stolen, filled with soiled garments, and then returned. His face was ridiculed by young children. His prized stoneberries was squashed. It was suggested that he perform acts of deliberate indecency upon himself. He was forced to suffer the interminable and petty gripes of the people. His hair was accused of being impermanent and false. The honor of his family was impugned. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. He suffered a disabling attack by a pack of bees. His reputation was maligned by brigands. Brigands! A local dog, a local dog evacuated in the minister's shoe. Ew. He was given a gift of turtle eggs by a visiting merchant. That's a gift. It was suggested that he would be able to trace his lineage to a simple courtesan. Maybe. Do you really know your entire lineage? He was referred to as Smelly. He slipped in mud, no doubt placed in his bed by jealous townsfolk. It's mud. Sailors burned down his office. Yeah, the last part is indeed not that good. Okay, let's talk to Minister Shane. Hello, we finally meet. It is not easy to be Minister Shane. Beset with troubles and doom and now interrupted by some difficult stranger. Truly, can you not see that I am busy watching my career slide into oblivion? Minister Shang simply hasn't time for your petty concerns. I have problems of my own. Mr. Shang, I am here to solve your troubles. What kind of problems do you have? This backwater pimple of a town lives off of the lake created by the Great Dam. But the Great Dam is open and the lake is dry. The town is dying. Under my supervision. And why is it open, this great dam? I have nary a clue. Unless... Oh, very well, you've convinced me to talk. It is dangerous to say anything, but I am a brave man. It was that horrible Inquisitor, Lim. Okay. Lim oversees the Lotus Assassin operations in this area. A few weeks ago, he came to town and demanded a key to the ruins. Then his men went up there and opened the great dam. Okay. Why did they do that? Inquisitor Lim has his assassin searching for something, though what it is I couldn't say. Minister Sheng knows better than to stick his nose in the business of the Lotus Assassins. Well, you're right in that, he would have died. I didn't want the town to panic, so I kept Lim's presence here a secret. Good better choice. the peasants think it was ghosts. A much less terrifying idea. Well, if you think that ghosts are less terrifying than the Lotus Assassins, then these Lotus Assassins have got quite the reputation. Damn. Is there anything I can do? Some brave soul must travel through the old ruins, which are absolutely not infested with ghosts, and close the Great Dam. The gate to the ruins is locked, but I have a key. Can I have it? I cannot order or even ask someone to go do this. If the Great Dam closes, the ruins will flood. Various assassins and soldiers will be killed. 
not good for my career. But if I happen to lose the key and someone happened to find it, the town could be saved and the problem solved without any sanction from me. Hmm. Interesting. I'll think about it. Think about what? I don't know what you're talking about. So, stranger, <laughs> is there anything else Minister Sheng can I do I played the you? game with him. Is there anything else you can Perhaps do? Perhaps I could direct you to the historic ruins of our old town, which lie across the footbridge and out the west gate. Certainly a sight worth taking in. Strictly for interest's sake, of course. Of course. Would you happen to not know anything about flyers while we're at it? Minister Sheng remembers when flyers were reserved for the wealthy elite of the Imperial City. Now pirates use them to raid the countryside. Disgraceful. I suppose in theory you could find a flyer at the pirate camp upriver. In practice, however, I doubt you would find the pirates very accommodating. Okay, don't worry. I suppose Rue the Bosun is mad enough to take you if he's drunk. Ooh. Rue is surely the only one who would make the trip. And then the pirates would kill you. No, they wouldn't. I'm too strong. Um, has the fleet of flyers passed by recently? I recently saw a large fleet of flyers pass by. The Minister Sheng held out hope that they had come to escort him away from this demeaning post and back to the Imperial City. But the flyers never stopped in Tian's Landing. They headed upriver towards the pirates' camp. No doubt they went there to refuel, though where they are now, I could not say. What can you tell me about these pirates? The pirates are just one more affliction that plagues this troubled town, and yet another headache for poor Minister Shane. They raid the surrounding countryside, swooping down with their flyers to capture slaves. Do you know how bad it looks when someone under my jurisdiction is captured by slavers? Fortunately, they haven't attacked the town itself yet. Gao, the man I hear is running them, knows that would draw too much attention. Gao. Did you say Gao was in charge? Yes, I believe that was his name. Gao. An unsavory character by all accounts. There are even rumors he is connected to that infamous crime syndicate known as the Guild. Interesting. The pirates have been operating in this area for many years or so I was told. However, things became much more serious when Gao took over. The pirates started using flyers and gathering slaves at an enormous rate. I imagine things are very unpleasant over at their camp. Not that I'm willing to go take a look. How would I get to the pirate camp? But the only approach is by river, and no sane bargeman would be willing to risk such a journey. Sane people don't go looking for the pirates. They avoid them. I suppose Rue the Bosun is mad enough to take you if he's drunk. Yeah, you already said that. Where can I find Rue the Boatswain? Already know that. Rue announced three days ago that he was going to close the Great Dam, but first he stopped at the tea house for a bowl of wine. As far as I know, he's still there. Okay, um... Let's see if we can ask about something else. Minister Sheng needs doers, not askers! What has happened to the helpful but silent peasant that was once a staple of the Empire? I don't know. Uh, that's a great damn... No. I will not ask him any questions. Yes, yes. Go and leave Minister Sheng alone to ponder his troubles. Now go close the great dam and I never said that. Received Ruins Key. Why am I... Rolling forward when I'm pressing back. Okay, so we've got several quests lined up for us. Okay, filter. We have the great... Oh! Enter the ruins to reach them or speak with Captain Ng. Mr. Shang said the Lotus Assassins 
opened up uh, the dam to search for something in the ruins of Old Chen's Landing. They don't care about the hardship they are causing the town. Chen gave you a key to the ruins, hoping you can close the dam. I also mentioned Captain Ng, a local man that would give a reward if you talk to him first. Go through the ruins of the Great Dam and find some way to close it. Watch out for ghosts and the Lotus Assassins, okay? Or speak with Captain Ng. Cheng said one of the locals would give you a reward for closing the dam. Speak with Captain Ng by Bigger Spear before closing the dam. So I think I'll do that first. Okay, the flyer. The pirates nearby are known to have flyers, but the only man foolish enough to risk traveling to their lair is Rue the Boatswain. The town drunk. You'll have to find some way to convince him to take you. Okay, I know where he is and we the brave. Search the ruins. That has not um, updated. Okay, the stolen memento. Merchant Chung has asked for your help in retrieving a clay figurine from a sailor named Tong. Tong can usually be found down in the Pier District in the southeast section of town. Speak to Tong about getting Chung's figurine back. Okay. That's it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And there's also the matchmaker. Um, okay. Um, I think we have our work cut out for us. Um, I'll do the side quest that I can do, still can do first, next episode. Then I'm gonna continue my, um, why do I have a halo? <laughs> That's nice. Um, and then I'm gonna continue the main quest. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>